Hello, everybody. It's Tammy at Creative Girl Vintage. Thanks for stopping by today. I've got a couple of new things I want to share with you. Um, first off, in my shop, I am putting two new items in. This is um, the Tickled Pink Very Tiny Pale Pink Fur Trim. It's cute as can be. And also, I've got a new crafting stash bundle. This is a Valentine... Um, journal tag bundle and everything that you need to make this adorable journal tag is inside of this bundle um, I've got you covered on all the paper all the embellishments you'll need a few crafting supplies which I'm sure most of you have but I always let you know what it is that you need so what we're going to do today is this video is going to serve as a tutorial for this little kit and we're going to open this up and I'm going to make for you this adorable little journal tag all right let's get this crafting project started by the way this little tiny little pink fur this is this is what it looks like right here okay so let's get this open and pull out all the goodness in here as always everything I'm using today I will link in the description box below this video this little bundle has 16 pieces Okay, let's set that aside. Let's pull out our tag. We have a piece of a vintage book page here. And this came from an old torn up book called Prose and Poetry for Appreciation. So that was a nice book page. And let's take, here's what we need right here. We're gonna open this little, second little envelope here. If I can figure out where I stuck it down. There we go. And let's pull out this piece of calico, ripped calico fabric. We're going to be using that. Okay, let me put these other little pieces aside so we don't lose anything. Get out a little piece of scrap to cover our work surface. And all I'm going to do here is we're going to cover the tag with the book sheet. So let's use some Scotch Create glue stick for this. I think you can probably use anything you like. I think this one worked pretty good. So let's just cover this whole thing. And I'm making sure we get all of our edges. And you can do this a couple of ways. One of the things I like to do is, you know, this side looks pretty good. I'm just gonna take this and lay it sticky side down just right there smush it all down good okay and then we can grab a pair of scissors and just do a nice little trim just like so Trim it all around the edges. And we have our hole already poked in there. So I'm just gonna grab just a simple little hole punch and kind of re-punch my hole right through that paper. Or you can probably just take anything like a, a pen or anything and just poke it through right there and open that hole up. Okay. Now covering our work surface again. I definitely wanted to get some inks out for this, so I'm just gonna be using my go-to, the Ranger Distress Ink in tea dye, and I'm just gonna, just gonna age it up a little bit. This would be pretty to use the uh, Morn lipstick color too, the pink. I just thought I'd vintage it up a little bit with the tea dye. There we go, and the strip of calico, isn't that so sweet? I'm just gonna pop that in here. Move that out of the way. And just pull this through here and we'll just give it a little tie, a little knot. And you can leave this long, you can tie it, you can trim it. It's your project. You can do whatever you like. Okay, so there's our tag, basically, and it's ready for the next step. The next thing I pulled out of the bundle is this 
cute little girl. She is actually um, one of my paper dolls that I scanned for you. I love her. I love her face. And I'm just going to use my um, little cutter bees here because we're going to do a little bit of fussy cutting on this on this little girl. We always like our fussy cutting, don't we? It's very relaxing. And, and she's pretty easy to cut out. She's not She's not too fussy. I love these old paper dolls. I wanted to give a shout out today to um, one of my subscribers. Well, Marky and her cat, Opie. So uh, Marky sent me some pictures via my Facebook page of Opie watching all of my videos. So it's like the cutest thing I ever seen. So Opie, if you are watching today, I hope you're enjoying this project. And I'm very happy that you're here. It just warms my heart, let me tell you. So if you guys aren't following me on Facebook or Instagram, my links are below if you'd like to. Facebook is really um, a nice place to share what you're doing, sending me a message or just even in the feed. You can share your projects with me. I always love seeing what you guys are up to. All right, there's our little girl. And let's just cut out this little message here that says Valentine while we're at it. Now these two pieces, if you want to ink them up, you certainly can. There's a little rose here too, if you want to cut that out and use that for something. Okay, where did my little, here it is. Okay, kind of watch out because you know we like to scoop things off into the trash can. Okay, cutter bees, put those away. All right, so those are cut, ready to go. The next thing I'm going to do here in your kit, you'll find this beautiful white fabric. It's like embossed. Isn't that so pretty? And that's going to be a layer, which I'm just going to layer on there. Um, you could use your stick glue. I'm going to pull out the fabric fix for this one and just see what happens here with the fabric fix glue. I don't, don't know if it's going to be all seeped through or what it's going to do, but I'm just going to try it. Nope. I think it did just fine. Okay. Smush that down really good. Okay. In the kit, let's pull out all the stuff in here. All right, I don't want to lose anything, so let me be careful. We've got rhinestones and pearls, we got buttons, we got all kinds of embellishments in here. Okay, so you can really do this in any order that you like. I'm just going to kind of lay everything on just to kind of see my direction and. Look at these, look at this cute little trim, you guys. It's like little mini pom-poms. Here's like a, a little bitty scallop. This is, um, I'm kind of going by how I did the first one. This is like little little bitty hearts. We can put them up there. We've got little flowers and then this little scrap of fur. I just love that on her. So let's just, let's just get her dressed up before she goes on there. So I'm gonna just grab the hot glue for this, for this one. And take my fur and just lay it right across her dress right there. Okay, let me go back in here just to be sure I've got everything glued down, which I don't. All right. Okay, cute. And then we'll do a little snip of the excess right there. This is just a sweet little rhinestone heart. Now this is sticky on the back. You can definitely, put this out of the way here. You can definitely just stick this on. I'm gonna put a little dot of hot glue and I'm gonna put that right there on her bow. All right, she's looking all pretty. Let's just set her right there for a sec while we're laying all this up. Okay. Ah. You get those glue strings on your hands and then everything's hanging off, just dangling off your fingers. Okay, I like where this was going. We definitely could use hot glue. You can grab your fabric fix on this one. I'm gonna put a nice layer right there. And oh, I just love this little pom-pom one. Okay, let me just, just put a line of glue right there. That on. 
And then we got this cute little ruffly scallop, I should say. Little scallopy one right there. And where's that? Oh, here it is. It was already in place. Put a little glue up here. This goes together pretty quick. It's so sweet. Okay, that one's up there. Let's get our little paper doll out. Put her, oh, I'm gonna, I'm grabbing the hot glue. You know I can't resist. I gotta get a little hot glue going. Just gonna pop her right there in the center. If you wanna elevate her a little bit, you can put a sticky dot there or one of my subscribers suggested once, put a couple buttons behind there. It lifts it up, lifts your work up, gives you a little bit of dimension. Look at these, aren't these cute? Okay, I like these. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fabric fix these. I'm not gonna hot glue these. Maybe one right there, little daisies like that in her hair, so cute. And then here you have little tiny pearls. Once again, like the hearts, these are sticky, but like I said, sometimes I don't trust that. So I'll put a little extra glue on. So I just did a little extra, little hot glue there let me get the other one off here. These are so tiny. Okay. Little tiny, tiny dot. And right there. Okay. Remember our little Valentine banner. You can decide where you want to put yours. I'm going to pop mine right there. We have a little button. Oh, these cute little embellishments. I'll put it there so it looks like the button is holding the little Valentine tag on. Okay, you guys, you see how quick that went together? And this is pure sweetness. And I hope it inspires you, too, just to grab out, you know, all your little scraps and just put something like this together. This is just the cutest little thing for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed designing it and creating it for you. Um, this little kit can be found in my Etsy shop along with the, the new little pink fur. And... Um, Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And as soon as I upload a new video, it'll, it'll show up right on uh, right in your feed. And um, also, if you'd like this video, it would really help my channel grow. And I appreciate that very much too. So thank you guys again. Have a beautiful day. Enjoy this little project that I loved creating just for you. And I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.